Hey guys, Dave Nerona out here. We had a buddy who, a uh, new rider actually, yesterday had uh, his sled for some reason uh, is not running. So I'm up here with my good buddy Brad today, his first day. So a lot of firsts today and um, we're uh, on the way out and we're gonna help him basically tow the sled down to the truck so he can load it and then they can put it into the dealership and see uh, what the issue is. So. Um, when you're towing a sled, it's important now to know what you're up against, okay? So if you're deep in the backcountry and it's deep pow, punching a sled out of there is going to be really difficult. It can be done, but remember, you're probably going to blow some, you might blow some belts because you're going to be pulling a sled. You'll need two sleds. You'll need some, some really good ingenuity for towing systems. Um, which you can purchase online. I'm gonna. I'm using the Mountain Lab gear uh, tow uh, strap today, um, and so I'm gonna show you a, a couple of easy ways to do it. This has been pretty easy because it was just off the trail. Really, if it was way back in the backcountry on a day like today, how deep it's been, I would heli this sled out. And uh, people go, "Oh, that's expensive." Once you enlist two or three buddies and the gas and the belts that you may go through you're pretty close to being there. So sometimes it's better just to, you know, put the, your tail between your legs, call the heli and get it out of there. Um, but in this case, it's really easy. And you can tow with the Mountain Lab tow strap. You also want to tow not off a regular bumper. So I have a heavy duty bumper that I use because of skiing to stiffen the tunnel and I can tow off that. So I can tow off the back to each ski. And this is a great system if the person is with you because then they can control the brakes. But in this situation, there's just the two of us and we got three sleds. So what I've done, and uh, Carl Kuster uh, and Jason Ribby and Dennis have shared this uh, awesome technique and it works really well. So what I've done is I've used the Mountain Lab toe strap and I've wrapped the front of one ski, in this case the left ski, to the rear of um, my, my running boards. And I've looped it around and wrapped it. So the advantage of this is that I can go downhill and the sled's not gonna run into me if I, if I had it directly behind me. And it's really easy to, to tow it. It's like you don't even feel it. And going up hills is easy and the sled drives itself. The other really important thing when you're towing the sled is to take the belt off, okay? So the belt would cause resistance. So taking that off, this thing, like literally, if you put it on a hill, it would run down on its own. So that way now I can just ride my sled normally, and this will follow me all the way down to the bottom of the hill. So there's a little bit of a way to tow your sled out or a buddy out if they have a problem. The other thing is, we're up here on Brougham Ridge, and they have grooming, and they've it's a great club. So you can always phone them, and if they're grooming, they can load, you know, there'll be a fee for that, but they'll load your slide right up onto the groomer and bring it down for you. So there's lots of options. Check with your local club. They want to help you get the sled off the mountain and it makes it easy for them. And also any money you're giving the club, you're basically donating to help with better grooming, keeping the upkeep of the cabins and all that. So that's your tip of the day for towing a sled out of the backcountry. We'll see you in the mountains.